Welcome back to another Backpage Gaming video. Today we're looking at the UCL Road to the Knockout Fred, the uh, CDM from Manchester United, and Jack is going to be asking me a couple of questions. I know he's very excited because he's a Man United fan himself. Jack, let's get into it. Well, right now I'm not so excited because we just got pumped 5 0 by Liverpool, yeah, not but great. we move. Um, speaking of pumping, will this guy give you a pump? We don't know. So, you look at this card, Robin, it's pretty nuts, to be yeah. honest. It is. Um, incredible stats all over the shop. Uh, I'd say he's a perfect, he's perhaps a perfect meta centre mid CDM type of role. How did he play? What, well, first of all, what position did he play and how well did he do in it? So I played him as a CDM in a 4 1 2 1 2. So he was the middleman. Okay. Pulling all the strings. He yeah. was fantastic, Jack. Oh. I'm sure you'd be glad to hear. Obviously, he's not I'm great in real life. Be. Um, yeah. But yeah, as a CDM on FIFA, didn't put a foot wrong for me. Absolutely perfect, really? yeah. To be fair, I can imagine it. For looking at his stats, yeah. if he didn't have 56 heading accuracy, though, that defending will be much, much higher. Yeah, his defending stats are crazy. Yeah, the, in 90 inceptions, That's big. 86 stand tackle is really big as well. Um, people sometimes underrate that, I think, Yeah. Um, as a stat. The physical stats as well, Rob. Like, obviously, his strength's a bit, you know, lacking. But yeah. 99 stamina, 99 aggression is not to be sniffed at. Not at all, man. So, use him CDM. So, the dribbling, Rob. That's yeah. something that is I want to talk about because it's so out of place. You know, you know, I don't know if that's the right it's word. Mad, but isn't it? Yeah. It's just in, C at in terms of like crazy. CDMs. Yeah. Sorry. There's not many that have got high dribbling. No. But this guy has. Would you say that's like a good positive for the you know obviously oh, no shit Jack it's a good positive but will you say that kind of contributes to his success at CDM for you? Hundred percent yeah. So before using Fred at CDM, I used Zakaria. Two very different players. Um, yeah. Zakaria is just Chalk one of them. Cheese really aren't they? Yeah. Zakaria is one of them. It's just going to stand there, be a brick wall. Um, once he's got the ball, he's just going to lay it off. Really, he's not going to charge yeah. much with it. But with you Fred, you won't do anything with it. Yeah, Fred. I, I decided to give him much more freedom than I gave Zakaria. I decided okay. to run with him, you know, try and take on a few players with him because he's got the dribbling, he's got the pace. Oh yeah. I don't see, I don't see what's bad about that. I, I don't think he. I mean, he's, he'd be, he'd be, he would be a good sentiment, Don't get me wrong, but I do like my sentiments to have a bit more shooting. I don't know about you. Yeah. You. Um, that'll lead into one of my questions in just a moment, I'm sure. Yeah, but as a CDM, if you want your CDM, maybe in like a four-two-three-one, I think it'd be perfect. It has like an advanced one. Fantastic, yeah, he, his dribbling is perfect. I'm, I'm really pleased to hear that, because I think Fred, to be fair, in real life, gets a bit of a bum rap sometimes. Yes, he's had a poor run of form for us, but yeah. in, in general, he's a quality player for us. He's he's let down by the system that he's in, yeah. definitely. So, speaking of shooting, Rob, um, something we didn't do much of today. <laughs> no. Um, it's only 70, uh, Yeah. and the standout being 82 shot power. And the rest is pretty yeah, crap, great, to be honest. So, would you say, obviously, you're using him CDM. I don't know why I said that so strangely. Using yeah. him CDM, you kind of get away without the shooting so much. Would, now, yeah. would you say it's a detriment to the card, though? You know, is it a noticeably bad? I don't know if you got into any positions with him. If you use him as CDM. Was that the only thing that put you off using him CM? Yeah, 100%, I think. Um, okay. Other than that, if he had, say, 80 shooting, you'd be using him centre mid without a doubt. But when mm. you. Because I. Chances fall to my centre mids quite often and I don't want them to be missing chances because I've put him there I think yeah, he's the perfect yeah, build the perfect stats to be a CDM if you compare him with say Kante Kante yeah, yeah I was about to say not too dissimilar at all let me just do a little uh, stat check real quick One of he's got more things that he's stats. got that Kante doesn't is passing a lot better and yeah six more passing it's something that for me when I use Kante I really didn't like his passing I thought no, it yeah. let down the card quite a bit because it's, it's a big thing from it is, yeah. midfield. Yeah. Um, and he just didn't feel like he had, had the techers. No, yeah. It's, whereas his passing's Fred brilliant. does, yeah. I take it. Um, so, like I say, when when you advance with him, you can manage to get through a few through balls. Did get a few assists and just set up some nice chances in general. I'm sure you'll see in the clips. But it's, yeah. it's, I said, you know, when I, when I looked at him, when I was thinking about buying him, yeah. I compared him to Kante and I was like, I don't see why he's, he's cheaper than him. Cheaper. Yeah. Bearing in mind, this is a live card, ladies and gentlemen. Bearing in mind, and you are great at the minute, I'll admit that, but they have a de he has a decent chance to get upgraded. He'll get one upgrade, won't he? They've won one 80s. already. 
So they need to win two more, though. We've got Villarreal, Young Boys, and Atalanta. Yeah, we'll win two. We'll, we'll, yeah. I'd imagine we'd win two of them. So it's definitely doable to win two of those. And then if you get out of the group as well, Jay, you could Another be a really naughty card. Like, one of the best CDMs on the game. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And for the cost of, like, 300k-ish. Yeah, he's 270 at the minute. I think that's a steal. When you compare it to Kante's 400k, which <clears> God knows how he's that, still that expensive, but... You know, hey ho. Um, I'm surprised this guy's not gone up more, you know. Uh, he's gone like, down, genuinely. yeah. I bought him for 300. And I think that's a good price. Genuinely. This guy will be in a lot of pro teams in, in Kante's place, I guarantee. Yeah. I think, depending on... Because um, what would he get upgraded to? Uh, would he be an 87? An eight? And then an 88? I think so. Yeah, sure. Yeah, surely. Depending on how the upgrade... The upgrades kind of seem a bit random this year um, in terms of ones that they're given. Like, Immobile only got, yeah, like, like, what? He only got, got a plus a one. Plus three as well. He went to an 86. Yeah. Like, Immobile got a plus one, but, like, Werner got, like, a, what? A plus four or something? Yeah. Whatever it is. I can't remember off the top of my head. But if this card, Rob, gets an upgrade, like you said, he's a life card, do you think he will be the best CDM in the game? Well, maybe not. let's not say the best CDM, because yeah. there's icons, but icons don't really count, no. they, because no one can afford them. In terms of non-icon, yeah, I don't know who would be better than him. I really don't. I mean, <laughs> Frankie de Jong looks fantastic as well. I mm, think they're supposed to be part and parcel. I think they're Imagine be, those two together. Yeah, and like 4-2-3-1, <laughs> those two together would be Just working. Insane. But in terms, working yeah, the entire pitch. In terms of like Prem, if you're maybe a little bit tighter on budget, can't quite get Kante in. Fred's your man. He is your man. I'd, I'd just go for him anyway. Like He's got the skills as well, Jack. Four star, four star. Yeah. Which uh, Kante doesn't have. It's nice. Hi, hi. Yeah. He does look amazing. Yeah, he's, he's great. Like, there's, there's not a bad thing about the card, is there? So, speaking of the card, Rob, why don't we get on to the end card? Yeah. Give us the rating. I'm interested. I'm going to predict a nine. Going for a nine. Point Ooh. five. Oh! Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, the only negative I can see about him. I'm going to guess either the shooting or his height. Is his height. I'm not going to yeah. put his shooting down as a negative. No, I because Yeah, I suppose if you. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't get one chance to shoot with him. If you are using him as centre mid, maybe I'd, I'd say he's like a nine if you do yeah. get the, the chance to shoot with him. But as a CDM, man, he's better than Kante. Kante's lauded as the, the lord and saviour of this game at CDM. Yeah, definitely. He's a 9.5. He's fantastic. Value he is quite expensive at two seventy, but obviously he's cheaper than Kante. So I've gone for a seven, which I think is I think that's fair. fair. Yeah. Like, yes, he's expensive, but he's kind of providing something that there's not much of in the game. There's a lack. There's of not them. many yeah. good CDM players. No, um, you look at Fred Tonali, Kante, like, and then he kind of a bit. Yeah. And even then, Tonali's a bit more of a centre mid. To be honest, yeah. he's not. Zakaria is very good know. to be fair, so he's a bastard to link. Um, Mm. Fred, very true. Is Where's not this man? I'm guessing, Robbie. Speaking of yeah. links, I could not do this review without speaking about my man, oh. the Lord and Savior, Gabriel Jesus. What a man! I don't want to get rid boys, of him. Boys, Robbie, shut your mouth. Yes, boys. I wish you could go through the torture of me. I hear Robbie speak about Gabriel Jesus every minute on FIFA. If you've not tried the card, check out the review above. But Robbie absolutely adores this man, and I think. I think Robbie would he'd get in like prime R9 just to get Gabriel Jesus oh, on Ken. Yeah. I'd use R9 as a Ken bit to get Jesus in there. <laughs> but yeah, what a player. If you've not tried him, honestly, he, he is yeah. so good. Another one, I've gone for a little bit of a cheaper one. Perfect link to Alex Tellez, who I know you were quite rated at left back, Jack. He's good. He's really he's a, he's a really solid left back. There's yeah. not loads on the game as well. so Exactly, yeah. He's not like outdated yet, if that makes sense. Yeah. And the last one I've gone for is, of course, Raphael Varane. I think those three in like a triangle, pretty solid. Uh, yeah. If you go for the right side and get Wamba Saka, who I use with Fred as well, he's also very good. You could link him to my. I mean, just quickly as well, Marquinhos. Yeah. He's a really a meta option, link yeah. as well. Neymar. Neymar, yeah. Neymar. Um, Rob, what? Uh, also, new left back, Rob, is that Renan Lodi. He looks quite nice um, as well. Is he extinct? He's actually extinct. Yeah. Yeah, he's only 100k though, so. That's all right. That's he looks why. very good, actually. Probably one of the best left. Probably, eh, I'm not, not going to say the best left back in the game, but he? probably top three. Um, yeah. I bet he makes what chem style did you use on him, Rob? I'm guessing shadow. I went for a shadow. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. He's an uh, 89 yeah. CDM with a that shadow on him. That is crazy. He's, he's um, plays like it as well, I'll tell you that. 
I just don't think like he needs anything more than that. Also, with a powerhouse, he's a 92 CDM, but that's crazy. I think he needed a bit of pace. Yeah, I, I, I would always side with the pace, no matter what the in-game rating says. Players are always better when they've got pace, and that's a fact. Definitely, yeah. is for me. If you, if they've not got like 96 pace, they I'm thinking I'm putting a pace that. card on this bitch. Yeah, 100. percent But if you've, you know, if you've got a spot in your CDM, you've got a prem team or maybe like a Brazilian sort of team. He's like, yeah, he's a good player to look to upgrade to. Yeah, he is. Yeah, if that makes sense, he's a good player to look forward to because there's not many of those at minute. Because obviously yeah. everyone's so cheap. Yeah, he's probably the next tier above. Would you say? 100. percent Yeah, obviously. You've, everyone's crashing apart from like the high meta players so you've Big got like points. even players like De Bruyne are less than 100k so you want to build up casually obviously if you get ranked 2 every week that's what 100k every week at least in at rewards least, yeah. it's not going to take you long to get players like this in and when yeah. you do I really do think you're going to notice a difference in your CDM position he is going to be a monster for you I guarantee it well ladies and gentlemen I think that about covers it Yes, Fred the latest big boy at CDM you know Big in terms of being a player, but small in terms of being a man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's been the review. I'm excited. To, I kind of want to try him, yeah, low key. Yeah, not, he's even, good. not even joking. But um, if you've liked the review, drop a like, you know, shot, drop a sub. But until next time, I've been Jack. I've been Robbie. And we've been Backpage Gaming. See you in the next one. See you later.